recording that. now. Can you just change this to say exit timeline? And then and then the next part is Hi, everybody, and um, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining us on Facebook for Passport to iEARN. Um, my name is Lagaya Bibi, and I'm um, going to be telling you about the NISI Y program today. Um, if you're joining us on Facebook, we also invite you to participate by um, introducing yourself right in the, in the chat box there, or if you have any questions, we also have some staff who are manning the Facebook page. So if you're, if you're on there and you want to say hello and introduce yourself and where you're joining from, we would love that. And if you have any questions, um, you can also feel free to ask there. So let me just pull up my screen here. Right, so I'm going to be telling you all about um, what the NISLI program is, or the NISLI Y program. And it is a physical exchange program um, that iEARN also runs. Um, a quick rundown of my session. I'll, first, I'll share a little bit about myself. I'll tell you my iEARN story. I'll tell you a little bit about the context of how iEARN became involved in physical exchange. Um, then I'll give you all the information you're dying to know about the NISLY-Y program, share some resources about how to apply for NISLY-Y, um, and also share a little bit about iEARN's NISLY-Y impact, and end with a little um, information on how you can get involved in iEARN's work and also in the NISLY program. Okay. So first about me and um, a little background about um, my, my iron story. Um, I was really lucky and fortunate to grow up in an intercultural household. Um, my father is American and my mother is Filipino. So I grew up hearing both languages, English and Tagalog. Um, and also my, my parents worked for the U.S. Agency for International Development. Um, which meant that I was very fortunate to grow up all over the world and have this, you know, wonderful experience um, as a child living in many different countries and different continents. Um, but I also recognize that that is, you know, a really privileged um, and unique situation to be in. Um, also, while I was in college, I participated in a study abroad program that really changed my life. It put me on the path to learning Chinese as a foreign language. It uh, sparked a lifelong interest in Chinese language and culture. It took me to China where I worked and lived for several years, um, where I met my, my, my future and now husband, then my future, now my now husband. Um, anyway, it just really changed my life in a very deep and meaningful way. Um, and because of um, my background, I strongly believe that physical and virtual exchanges can have a profound and long-lasting positive impact on students. Um, so I feel just so lucky to have found iEARN um, and get to work for an organization uh, where whose mission I, I strongly kind of personally aligns with my values. Um, and I'll also start with a student testimonial from one of our NISLI students who is uh, who studied Korean language in the summer of 2017. 
She said, one benefit that she gained from the summer program is greater cultural understanding. When you see a culture solely through media and select encounters, it is hard to realize the motivations and values that drive that culture. It is easy to judge the whole based on one or several individuals, but being in Korea allowed me to form an idea of Korean culture based on my experiences alone. Um, yeah, so again, just feel really lucky to work for an incredible organization and program that um, continues to have um, just profound impact on, on, on these students. Um, so how did I earn get involved with physical exchange opportunities? Um, so as Dina mentioned earlier, um, part of what makes IRON really special is this really robust international network of educators who are all so committed to this work of, um, of, of virtual exchange. And over you know, almost 30 years of building up um, these strong networks, international networks, um, uh, when our partners at American Councils and the US State Department were looking for opportunities to start this new um, foreign language exchange program, physical exchange program, we seemed like a really good fit because we already had this incredible network of educators. We already had capacity all around the world to help implement um, these programs. So it was really a good match for us to take on this grant, this uh, National Security Language Initiative for Youth um, Program grant. Um, and um, and contribute to this to Iron's vision um, through these physical exchange programs. Uh, so finally, about the Nisli Y program, what it is is a scholarship program for U.S. youth, so American youth, aged 15 to 18, uh, and the scholarship funds students to live abroad and study critical languages um, or languages that are less commonly taught in American schools. There are two program lengths. There's a summer program and also an academic year program. So academic year um, typically runs um, between eight and 10 months. And uh, the NISLI program includes um, some of the following languages, Mandarin Chinese, Arabic, Hindi, Bahasa Indonesia, Russian, Korean, Persian or Tajiki, um, and Turkish. And as for iEARN, we run um, programs uh, in China for uh, Chinese Mandarin, in Morocco for Arabic, um, in India for Hindi, and also in, um, in South Korea for Korean language. Um, I'd like to now play a video of our of some of our alumni um, who made this really cool video of their program experience in Morocco in the summer of 2016. Um, just a, a warning that the video starts out a little bit loud, but um, then it kind of normalizes. But um, it's really fun, and I hope you enjoy watching this this short video. Salam. Walaikum as Hi, I'm Grace Rector. And I'm Rimshin Nazir. And we went to Morocco in 2016 through the Iron Nisli program. Morocco to me was one of the most incredible experiences of my life because not only did I meet my best friend, <laughs> but I also really got to learn how important Arabic is and our teachers that we were exposed to through IRN were extremely helpful, especially our teacher Siham. That's true. Shout out to Siham because she is by far the best teacher I will ever have in my whole entire life. And like Grace was saying, kind of being in this self-immersed area, learning about the language and like forcing yourself to learn it because you're with your host family, you're in a classroom setting where they don't speak English because they want you to learn the language and then being in a taxi driver, like in a cab with a taxi driver and telling them where you want to go um, was one of the most incredible experiences and you learn so much about human nature and communication. Definitely. And another part of the trip that really stuck with me was the relationship with my host family. 
I lived with two host brothers, a host sister, and a mom and dad. And throughout the program, I really got close to them. For um, for aid, we got to go visit family members, and it was just great to be a part of something bigger than yourself. And you really felt like you fit in. You didn't feel like a visitor. And I think Iron and Nisley did a great job of making us feel comfortable and making us feel uh, part of this experience. For sure, I remember when I went and met your host family. Like this is day two, and the host <laughs> kids were running, going, "Mommy!" because that's what Grace went by in Morocco and that was day two and that was just the beginning of like the wonderful six weeks we had there. Definitely. So aside from the host family and the classes, I think just another thing about it was one of Nisley's goals is to create students that are passionate about diplomacy mm -hmm. and I think through learning this language we were able to connect with people and hear people's stories. So although we would use market phrases, how much is this, how much is that, we could also have really cool conversations about religion. We were there during Ramadan and um, I got to do fast for 10 days for the first so time fun. with her um, and it was just such an incredibly spiritual moment. Even though I'm not Muslim, I really got to kind of feel that mental experience of what it is like to uh, fast and how wonderful it is at the end of the day to come together with your family and uh, share food together. Yeah, it was a wonderful time. And speaking of sharing food, I mean, Moroccans love doing that. It's amazing just how we only knew market phrases and random things like, how old are you? Where's your family from? These people were so open to us, so ready to welcome us into their homes or just in their shops. They wanted to have tea with us. And that was just such an unusual experience, especially being brought up here because it was culture shock even for me who I've like, I've seen Middle Eastern culture and this was still something that was just so beautiful. And now... I, I'm still here with Grace. I still carry those memories and yeah. Yeah, so we just wanted to show you how incredible this Nisley experience was and I hope you enjoy the following video. And make sure to apply for Nisley. It changes your life. <laughs> Hey, 
نسكت وانت موجود ما نرضى the video and we just want to reiterate how this Nisley experience did not end last summer. Rimsha and I have been very involved in continuing our studies in Arabic. I'm currently studying Arabic at Georgetown University. And I'm studying at University of Chicago and it's still an experience that we carry with us. We still remember those host families. In fact, Grace visited Morocco again last summer, got to meet everyone that we had met, the connections we had made, the relationships we had made, and it just doesn't end. Nisli is a lifetime experience, and we really hope you take part in it today. Masalama! Great. I just love that video. I think it's so cool. It makes me want to participate in the Nisli Y program, but unfortunately, I'm aged out. Um, something that I really liked about Grace and Rimsha's video is uh, one they talk about uh, the incredible connections and relationships that they formed uh, from being a part of this Nisli Y program. Um, and two, at the end, they talked about how the experience um, had not ended for them. Um, they still are studying the language that they went to study in Morocco, Arabic, um, and uh, Grace even went back to Morocco and visited. Um, so one of the goals of the Nisli Y program is to spark this lifelong interest in other cultures and languages. Um, so in, in that way, the spark, uh, it's something that um, these young people kind of carry for the rest of their lives. Um, and this one short-term program, even if it's just a summer or even an academic year, um, can continue to have um, kind of reverberating impact on these young people. Just another reason that I, I, I really enjoy uh, working with youth is that um, yeah the impact gets to to live um, beyond the program time frame. So now I'll share some resources with you all if you're interested uh, in learning more about the Nisli program, and I'll go ahead and ask. Um, uh, my colleagues dig need to also type these in the chat box in case people want to click on them directly. So the program website is nisliforyouth.org. That's N-S-L-I for youth.org. Um, and this is where uh, the main, you can find all of the information about the program, how to apply for the program, what languages are currently offered, um, uh, if you have any questions about um, safety or security, all these questions can be answered at this website. A little bit about the application process. Applications are usually due uh, for this program in late October or early November. And applications for 2018 are currently closed, but if you're interested or if you know any high school age students who might be interested in learning these languages overseas, um, we encourage you to check out the website. Um, one note about um, uh, eligibility for the Nisli Y program is you don't need to have any prior language experience um, in the language that you choose to go study. Um, I, this picture here um, is a picture of our uh, summer program. Um, in, in South Korea, and actually a lot of the students in that program have never studied Korean language before. Um, they just applied and really demonstrated in their application, through their essays and through their interview, their, their deep interest in learning about Korean language and culture. So you don't have to have any prior language experience um, to, to apply for the NISLEAP program. And again, it is a merit-based scholarship. It's a full scholarship. Um, so it's a really great opportunity, uh, especially for, uh, for young people who might not have that opportunity to study abroad on their own. The second resource I wanna share for you, with you is um, Nisli Interactive, uh, which is nsliy-interactive.org. And this is a website that I earn administers on behalf of the Nisli program. 
Um, and here is a great place for you to look if you're interested in hearing more of a student's perspective on the Nisley program. So it's a, basically a warehouse of uh, student-created content, um, stories, videos, like the video that um, Grace and Rimsha uh, worked on and I shared earlier. Um, so it's really a great place to see kind of a student's perspective and lived experience of, of the Nisley program. Um, so this slide is about iEARN's Nisley Y impact or iEARN's Nisley impact. Um, over the years, uh, iEARN has run programs for Nisley where 1,003 students have participated. Um, and of all of the alumni, not just including iEARN's alumni, but all of the Nisley program um, alumni, as Dina said earlier, it's a consortium. So many different organizations are working on this together. Um, but of all these alumni, 83% have reported that they continue to study languages. So again, that spark to keep going with their interest in language um, definitely is demonstrated in the numbers and the impact. 90% um, of alumni reported continued interest in foreign cultures. Uh, so even if they didn't, necessarily continue with language study, they still reported being interested in foreign cultures. Um, and again, this goes back to what uh, Tanya was sharing earlier about um, kind of opening, uh, broadening worldviews and, um, and increasing empathy around the world and how important that is. Um, and the last point of impact that I wanna highlight uh, is an estimate, um, it's not exact, but um, thinking about 1,003 students of iEARN's Nisley program, we can estimate that about 3,000 host family members all over the world have also benefited from this program. So iEARN's Nisley programs are also unique in that um, we match students with a host family for their whole time while they're abroad. Uh, some of the, our other partner organizations do it a little differently, where they have students staying in dorms part of the time and in, with host families for part of the time. So I think one of the uh, strengths of IRN's NISLEEP programs is that they do get to spend all their time with a host family and really um, make those deep connections, um, like how uh, Grace was sharing in the, in the video earlier. Um, and the reason I want to highlight this number of host families um, is, is again to come back to the benefit that um, not necessarily just our program participants receive. Uh, so these host family members also benefit from the program. How do they benefit from the program? Well, they choose to be a part of this and to host these, uh, these American teenagers. Um, and through this experience too, they also are experiencing this international exchange. Um, part of the student's responsibility, we tell them when they go overseas, is to be uh, cultural ambassadors on behalf of the US. Um, so our host family members all over the world um, also are participating as you know, cultural ambassadors representing their host country um, and also contributing and participating and benefiting um, from this incredible exchange program. So how can you get involved? Um, in, because today is Giving Tuesday, there are lots of different ways to give. You can give your time. Um, you can write us at nisley at us.iron.org if you want to learn about volunteer and internship opportunities at Iron USA that are related to the Nisley program. Um, you can also give your time by volunteering and sharing about the Nisley opportunity with your social networks. Um, this will help us get the word out about this scholarship program and also help IRN's overall mission and increase access um, to these international exchange opportunities. Um, and if you would like to share on social media, please don't forget uh, to hashtag um, 
hashtag passport to iron. Um, you can also get involved um, by giving your time and um, calling your representatives uh, to tell them you support the State Department's exchange programs. Um, and then lastly, again, I'll remind you that this uh, virtual event is part of um, Giving Tuesday with Iron USA. Giving Tuesday is a global day of giving, volunteerism, and kindness. Um, and I uh, also urge you to consider making a donation today to Iron USA. Um, you can do that at our website, us.iron.org/donate, or you can donate directly from Facebook. Um, you can make a gift of any amount. We really appreciate. Um, any amount you're um, able or willing to give. Um, and your donation, no matter how big or small, uh, will help us be more effective in connecting even more youth and educators around the world. Um, so even though our programs like the Nisley program is grant funded, um, uh, Iron USA, you know, we are still, um, you know, responsible for, um, you know, finding our own funding to cost share the, um, the amount of the grant. Um, so what that means is uh, your donation not only supports our, our virtual exchange work, but also can support our physical um, exchange programs such as the NISLEAP program. Um, and with that, I will stop sharing and say thank you very much for tuning in to this session. Um, today at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be um, coming back to the NISLEAP program and have a chance to meet uh, one of our incredible um, alumni, uh, Diogeny, who will be giving a presentation about his time on the program. And I'll also, we'll also be sharing um, a video presentation of some students who are currently studying in Korea. Um, so with that, I'll ask if there are any questions. Thank you again very much for tuning in and I hope that you um, come back and watch more sessions with um, Passport to Iron. Um, thank you very much.